Along with the new capital came uh, the development of the Finnish language. The Russians had intended that the Finns would be learning Russian and give up Swedish. But Swedish remained an administrative language for the country. French was sometimes used, but the Finns really refused to learn Russian. They uh, just didn't even try. And so a compromise, I guess, was the Finnish language then began to replace uh, Swedish more and more. And from the Russian standpoint, it was probably a good move because uh, speaking Finnish would have been better for them than speaking Swedish because Sweden had been a problem to the Russians more than once in the past. And they didn't know if it would happen again. As it turned out, Sweden uh, changed their philosophy quite a bit and the warlike kings uh, were replaced by pacifists and Sweden became a neutral country then after that time. The summer of 1809, then there was a, a change of, uh, or a treaty that was finally signed in September that uh, once and for all ended the Swedish uh, presence in Finland. So this is a remarkable year. The, the um, National Museum in Helsinki had a huge exhibit on uh, the events of Porvo that uh, all the visitors could take part in. Many rooms of the uh, museum were uh, dedicated to that event. This, of course, uh, this anniversary in Finland, I, I know, uh, is a solemn occasion, and I'm sure it was a very solemn occasion at times here in America, too. Not like the 4th of July. And I would guess that 70 years ago, especially, it would have been a really solemn occasion as Finland was really at the mercy of a Russian invasion. The Winter War had just broken out and the outcome was uh, very much in doubt. And I'm sure many of your friends and relatives, neighbors and so on, uh, came to Hancock that year to uh, pray and hope for the best. And as it turned out, um, they were able to withstand the onslaught of the Russians and remain independent. A minor miracle, a major miracle, really. So the Finns are uh, aware that the price of freedom is, is very dear, and I think uh, today we need to remember that also. In our own country, we understand that the price of freedom is... Uh, often blood, sweat, and tears, and the Finns probably more than, more than many people truly understand that. So it's a great honor to uh, be before you today, and I look forward to the uh, program. I know uh, I had the opportunity to see the play Niskavod and Nyset a few weeks ago, and I was hoping that they'd be able to uh, reproduce that at least in part here, and I see that it is on the program, so I'm very glad to see that. I want to thank Jim, Kurti, and all the staff at Finlandia for their efforts to put this uh, program together. Thank you very much.